Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials. Today I'll show you how to make the skin more dynamic actually and uh, how to apply all the stuffs easily in the Photoshop. So let's start the tutorial. If you're new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. I'm dragging this one and drop in this plus sign. You are getting another copy of this layer and giving the name edit. And after that, going to the filter and going to the neural filter. So from neural filter i will apply the skin smoothing options and i'll suggest you to update your photoshop into 2021 you're getting the new features in neural filter in 2021 okay i'll get the blur value 23 and smoothness like this so i think this should be nice and making it a little bit bigger okay the blur value is 30 actually if i keep 15 okay i think that is the natural texture for the face and hit the ok button easily you are getting the texture over here okay selecting all the stuffs making it merge like that before and after now time to add the like uh, dodge and burn which is the shadow and highlight press j and j controller command j and j and after that here i'll give the light and another one shadow that's good and turning off the shadow layer turning the light layer here going to the blending options making it screen right press going to the blending options from here here is uh, the underlining layer slider which is the black one turning this one slightly into the right side you are finding the shadow and highlight area actually and press alter option button you can divide the slider and adjust with the face that's good now mask it out after masking that going to the image and apply image and hit ok so this layer and the shadow layer for the shadow layer i'll make it multiply the mode of the blending and blending options from here I'll work with this slider and finding out the shadow area. Press the alter option button, divide the slider and match with the skin or blend with the skin. Okay, that's fine. And mask it out. Image, apply image. In this case, I'll make it invert just because of shadow is opposite of the highlight. And hit OK. And selecting these two layers, making it group and giving the light and shadow okay that's good and mask this group and image apply image in this case turn off the invert option and hit okay so before and after dynamic change you are getting here so selecting these two layers making it into smart object just because of i want to apply here some uh, like uh, photo filters and the presets going to the filter again and going to the camera filter this one is another plugins of the photoshop and you can do more things the about the color grading and the uh, editing all the stuffs giving the exposure a little bit down and contrast up highlight a little bit down and shadow provide a little bit and the blacks a little bit down and texture a little bit up and vibrance a little bit down and from the curve area i'll make the curve like this and like this not too much okay that's fine and a little bit grammar oh, that's fine detailing option noise reduction and color noise reduction little bit and color mixture red color luminance of the red i'll increase and the saturation a little bit increase and hue a little bit pink that's fine in the blue portion i'll make it a little bit aqua color and the luminance a little bit up and the saturation a little bit here down okay the color grading the main gimmick of the color grading is shadow color, mid-tone color and highlight color. Here is the shadow portion. You can provide the shadow color over here. Okay. And here is the mid-tone portion. Which color do you want to provide here? You can choose and the highlight color. I'll make it into like that. So when you are making the slider in the right or left here, the generate the value. If you remember this value, you can get the same result as me okay that's fine and uh, for the mid tone i'll make 
highlights for the highlight i'll make it a little bit warm that's fine and here is the calibration options from here i'll make the calibration like this this actually it depend, depends on your um, preferences how now the deal with that okay the warm i'll make it a little bit warm so before and after dynamic one and hit the ok button after that going to the filter again and going to the nick collection so which is really cool bunch of presets and other stuff which is uh, helpful for the photographer by adding the presets actually the filters from here cross processing and lots of sub method over here which one is preferred to you and you can select this one l02 and hit ok let's see the before one before one after one before and after ordinary to extraordinary image and you are getting so on here is the level options i'll make the levels a little bit down and here that's good so you're getting the dimension actually here before one and after one you're getting the dimension and saving this out in your directory going to the file and save as options giving the name op op for the output and making this one jpeg format and then hit the ok button so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications and new amazing tutorials for you guys which is really free and until the next video stay safe stay healthy keep me in your prayers bye bye